Well, Blue Puffball, you want Percy? I'll give you Percy. Okay, first things first, let's talk about one of the most controversial things about Percy in the Thomas fandom. His basis. In my take on Percy, I originally had no intended basis for him. At first I considered making him look like an industrial engine, similar to how Bad Manor Productions did his Percy. However, I didn't like the idea of Percy being an industrial. So in then my take on him, I came up with a very smart idea. In my take on Percy, he is based on Hunslet Works number 1873, also known as Jesse. In this take, he looks a lot more closer to what he looks like in the TV series and the railway series, so I went with that. The only difference is that in real life, number 1873 doesn't have pistons, and Percy does. I decided that Percy was an experimental prototype of this engine that had the pistons, but the later versions of this engines were never given pistons. Percy also has a different personality in my take on him. In my take on Percy, he's a bit more nervous, so to say, because he's worried that he might mess something up. But despite his nervousness, he's still a hard-working and capable fellow. Like Thomas before him, Percy has a black running board and an NWR logo on his boiler. I just figured that this made him look nice, like I said before. However, I also gave Percy a smokebox saddle. I don't know why Wilbert never gave Percy a smokebox saddle, only Clarence Reginald Dalby didn't give him one, and that carried on into the TV series, so yeah. Clive Spong, however, gave him the correct smokebox saddle, so I guess that's something. Anyways, that's basically it for my take on Percy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, have a good day, and make sure to comment which engine you want me to cover next. Anyways, this is HenryFan1Production saying, see you later.